Chick-fil-A is known for its chicken, it's known for its conservative values, and it's adding content creation to the list. The fast food company is launching a free app called Play, calling it the ultimate playground for families. The app promises to have all the ingredients needed for families to share a full sensory experience with original shows, podcasts, games, recipes, craft videos, ebooks, interactive stories, all with the purpose of bringing families closer together. When someone in this world is kind, that act of kindness creates spark. Sparks hold incredible power. And there's a whole world next to ours where spark is used to help people called Evergreen Hills. All right, so Chick-fil-A's move is part of its larger brand strategy to change the way we view hospitality, saying this is another extension of its customer service to satisfy appetites for, quote, top-rate family content. So let's bring in News Nation media contributor and founder of Mediaite, Colby Hall. Colby, so great to see you. So what is the purpose of a move like this? I mean, launching an app, especially one that purports to be kid-friendly. Um, kid and family friendly. And I think that's a key um, thing to distinguish here because Chick-fil-A has really sort of set themselves apart from a lot of other brands by leaning into kind of a, a traditional family focused point of view. And I think that it's, it's borrowed a lot of controversy and um, got some attention, but it's been an outlier and I think it's served them really well. Um, there's a lot of brand loyalty with those who like Chick-fil-A, you go there, the food's delicious, they have the systems down, and this seems like a, a natural extension. If everyone goes to Chick-fil-A, orders their food, and is on their phones, I'm sure Chick-fil-A was like, well, you know what? Why don't we speak to them also while they're on their phones? I don't think it's gonna be a huge, huge hit, um, but for the really loyal fans who can't get enough Chick-fil-A, that's their target audience. I mean, Colby, you bring up such a good point because when you talk about brand loyalty, people feel so strongly. People who love Chick-fil-A feel so strongly about Chick-fil-A. So I want to talk about the content here. This is a business, as we said at the top, that is well known for its conservative views, its conservative values. It's closed on Sundays. Do you think there is a chance some of that content will include some type potentially of political slant? Would it matter if it did? Hmm. One person's political slants is another person's values, right? So um, will people fine tooth comb it and find issues with it? I'm sure that's the world that we live in. I do think, I don't know, I'm of a certain age where I used to wake up on Sunday mornings when I was little and hope for cartoons and only found the old Davy and Goliath sort of Christian claymation um, animated series, which was never that interesting. I kind of feel like that's what we will be getting here, sort of good, you know, moral values. Will it be wildly popular as kids get older? Probably not. But if it's something, you know, when you're a parent of young children and you need a little bit of peace and quiet, putting them on an iPad or an iPhone just for a moment may not be the worst thing. So. I doubt it's going to be terribly controversial, except for those who are looking for controversial no matter what. So, you know, good for them. It's a good marketing uh, technique, and uh, it will appeal to their loyal audience. I'm not sure it'll make a big splash beyond that. You know, and last question for you, Colby. You know, Chick-fil-A has said, hey, this is not a streaming service. That is not what we're trying to do here. But, I mean, as I, as I read through that, I mean, there there's a significant amount of content. Do you think we'll see other restaurants, more restaurants, try to do this type of thing? I, I don't think so. I mean, there have been, I mean, remember when um, McDonald's did their own movie version of E.T. called Mac and Me, which was like a feature-length ad for McDonald's. Um, and that's largely gets mocked. Um, I think Chick-fil-A recognizes that they're in a very unique place in today's sort of pop culture and fast food intersection. So I doubt others will get into it the way that they're doing it. Part of me takes issue with the fact that like, I'm sort of old school and feel like if you're gonna have a meal with your family, maybe you should put down your phones and talk. Um, but you know, far be it for me to judge um, if it's a big success, I'm sure we'll see like Wendy's Vision and Burger King Arama. But, uh, you know, fortune favors the bull. Good for Chick fil A for trying something new. Alyssa, they can come to you for some naming ideas there. All right. Uh, Colby Hall, great talking to you. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.